Well, that was cold. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Zach, and in this video, I'm going to be counting down my top three moments from the third episode of Once Upon a Time. This episode felt a bit slow to me, but I was able to pick out a few points that I think you guys might find interesting. This week's episode was titled Rocky Road. The first of my top three moments is when Emma finds a thief poking around Robin Hood's tent in Storybrooke Forest. The significance of this character is that he is the thief, the knave of hearts rather, from Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, a recent spin-off series to Once Upon a Time. Michael Soto reprises his role as Will Scarlet, who was once part of Robin Hood's Merry Men in the Once Upon a Time in Wonderland storyline. I love how they're connecting this recent spin-off with the original series that it came from. Emma finds him poking around Robin and Marion's tent in Storybook Forest. When he tries to flee, he is tackled by David, then divulges that he has information regarding the mysterious blackout that was caused by the ice storm back a couple of episodes ago. They break into the ice cream parlor and discover that there is no central cooling system, yet everything in the back is still frozen as an iceberg. While Emma and David are checking this out, Will takes this opportunity to take as much money from the cash register as he can and take off running. This doesn't really hold any significance in regards to what's going on in Once Upon a Time right now. I just thought it was really cool that they took a character that they put in a spin-off series back into the original. The second of my top three moments is the appearance of Hans, played by Tyler Jacob Moore, that evil dude from the Frozen movies that everyone hated. While Elsa is still worried about Anna over in Misthaven and Kristoff attempts to calm her down, she gets word from one of her guards that there was an army amassing in the southern mountains, led by Hans and a few of his brothers. Kristoff goes to investigate this army against Elsa's wishes and overhears that Hans is looking for a mysterious urn that he is going to use to trap Elsa. Elsa and Kristoff go looking for the urn and are met by Hans and his brothers. Kristoff is able to fight off a few of them, but not enough to avoid getting a sword pointed to the back of his neck. Hans opens the urn with the intention to trap Elsa inside. However, a clear liquid flows out, moving towards Elsa. At the last second, it dodges right beside her and forms into a character that I am going to mention later on. The third of my top three moments from this episode of Once Upon a Time is when Marion gets cursed by frozen ice cream. At the beginning of the episode, Robin, Marion, and their son Roland go to the ice cream parlor and Marion is treated with free ice cream. When they go to the mayor's house for a fireside chat hosted by Mary Margaret, played by Jennifer Goodwin, she is hit by a freezing spell that, for everyone who has watched the Frozen movie, know all too well and realize that if the cold touches her heart, she will die. Robin attempts to break this curse with an act of true love in the form of true love's kiss. However, this doesn't work. He then enlists Regina's help to cure her, and she says that there is something she can do, but it's drastic, and asks Robin if he trusts her completely. He says that he does, so she sends Henry to her vault to pick up a small item. While Henry is gone, Robin confesses that his kiss didn't work because he's not truly in love with Marion, he's still in love with Regina. I knew those two couldn't keep away from each other. Now they just have to deal with the elephant in the room. Or rather, icicle in the room. When Henry returns with a small wooden box, Regina performs her heart removal magic so that the cold doesn't touch her heart and she doesn't die. I'm really pleased to see this, but also a little nervous because in the first episode, Regina had asked Sydney to find the moment back in time when she could kill Marion and give herself a happy ending. Does this mean that Regina's having a change of heart? and that she is going to find an alternate way to find a happy ending that doesn't involve people dying? In the final scene of this episode, the Snow Queen, or ice cream parlor lady who came out of the mysterious urn, froze Hans, and turns out to be Elsa and Anna's aunt, is met by Gold in the Storybook Forest and told, I'm sorry things didn't work out as you planned. In this small interaction, we learn that there is history between this woman and Emma that she doesn't want Emma to remember, and all I can think in my mind is that it is bad news. Those are my top three moments from the third episode of Once Upon a Time, plus the final scene. What did you guys think of this episode? Did you feel it was slow like me and you wanted a little more action? 
Or were you content that there was development on the Snow Queen's storyline? I can't help but feel that there's a connection between the Snow Queen's presence and Anna not being in Storybrooke. I don't know what it is, but I'm really interested to find out. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to punch the like button if you enjoyed it, share it around with your friends, hit that little subscribe button up there to be notified of all my latest videos, and comment below so we can chat. You can find me at ZachAttack on Facebook and Google+, as well as ZXK77 on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to check out my previous video in the series, you can click over that way. All of these links will be in the description below. It's been great talking to you, and I'll see you in my next video. Live to be different, and be who you were born to be.